Hey everyone, it's me, Dama, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really nice short dress, perfect for around the summertime or the spring. So yeah, it looks really nice. So if you want to know how to do it step by step, just keep on watching. So first we're going to be making some measurements. We have to figure out how big we need our piece of fabric and mine is 29 inches by 30 inches long and the way I got the the way I got 29 inches was first I measured from shoulder to shoulder and I added about 5 inches on each side. So I got 29 inches and 30 inches long from here to here is how long I want the dress so you're going to be measuring from the top of your shoulder from the top of your shoulder down to where you want it mine's going to be um, above my knee so it's going to be 30 inches and you're going to need um, two pieces of fabrics just like this one mine's going to be 29 inches by 30 inches and I have it right here that's already they already pre-cut it and they're just two pieces of fabric and they're 29 by 30 and then we're gonna have to figure out um, you're gonna have to see your um, your neck and your neck is from here let's just say that this is your neck and from here to here is your neck and you're gonna add about two inches on each side of your neck so mine is going to be eight inches from here to here and then after that um, so just remember that you have eight inches from here to here so it's not like from your from your neck um, like to from one side of your neck to the other side it's actually about like two more inches on each side so it's going to be eight inches and then we're going to start working on this and then so you guys get why I got 8 inches. Okay, so I have my piece of fabric and these are actually two pieces of fabric which are 29 by 30. And um, make sure you pin it because this fabric does tend to move a lot. I'm just going to be pinning it just like so. Then I'm going to be folding it in half. Just like so. Make sure you don't have any wrinkles. So I folded my piece of fabric in half. And now I'm going to use those 8 inches that I had um, for my neck area. And I'm gonna, you're going to divide that by 2. Mine is 4 inches. So I'm going to be making a mark right here. And this is going to be our neck. This is where our neck is going to be at. And I'm going to add 2 inches from that mark, actually 3 inches, and I'm going to make another mark. This right here, we're going to be sewing this. So this is how it looks up close, and you're only going to be sewing from here to here. And remember, it was from here to here, 4 inches, so I made a mark here, and I added 3 inches, which is another mark here and I'm just going to be sewing along here right here lying straight across not here and not right here then you're going to be measuring where you want your how long you want your armhole and you're going to measure from the top of your shoulder down to where you want your armhole mine's going to be approximately seven inches and I'm going to be making a mark right here and I made my mark right there. So this is going to be my armhole. So this right here, from here to here, is going to be my armhole. And now I'm going to be sewing on each side along here. So I'm going to be sewing along here, along here, and those three inches that I had up here too. 
So that's how it looks once it's done and I mean it just looks like a little square but once you try it on and put it on it looks way different and that's how it looks from the front and you know what I actually did do a front neckline so you guys can do a front neckline right here just curve it and that's the three inches that I sewed and then from there it looks like that so this is how it turned out I really I mean I really really liked it because I don't have I don't think I've ever had a dress like this so yeah and I really like this um, the cut sleeves um, I don't know I feel like it's really um, nice and different so yeah it turned out really cool and if you guys happen to make this dress make sure to comment down below or even post it on my Facebook and I'm gonna be linking down below an outfit of the day so you guys see how I styled it and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time